I think the key drivers behind Vector is simply to provide a product that actually does what it says it's going to do, and that is act like a fire truck. And we found a great company with Emergency One. They're a global company based in the UK. They had developed the first fire truck in the world that was fully electric. Emergency One's electric fire truck, the EV Zero, is unique in the marketplace because it's not a hybrid truck. It can pump and drive for protracted periods all on electric power. The product that they see rolling out visually won't look any different to your standard firefighting appliance. It'll look and do the exact same things. We put forward a very, very strong package to London. We've got a great relationship with the service having built their pump and appliances over a number of years. The motor itself is actually made up of two motors, each of which is six phases. In total, the full drive motor features 12 phases of AC power. This offers excellent tunability, control and flexibility to make sure we get the driver what they're requesting, when they're requesting it and with the best possible efficiency. The biggest challenge that we have came across is to facilitate the locations for the battery packs themselves because you try and maximise storage and water capacity on the vehicles. So we're looking at zero emissions, zero compromise for the fire services that are going to be using the apparatus. As part of the R100 approval, all battery packs have uh, underwent full fireproof or uh, fire test rating procedures. So they comply with all current SAE regulations for North America and any ISO standards for Europe. We're at EquipMake in Norfolk, UK. This is the heart and brains of where the vector motors, inverters, and batteries all come together. I'm here today with Ian Foley. He's the CEO and founder of EquipMake. You've got something on the table here. Can you explain what are we looking at? So this is our HGM 3500 motor. The motor itself is very light. You, you get instant torque. Electric motors have got significantly fewer parts and therefore are fundamentally more reliable. You guys make the batteries for this whole system as well. You pretty much start from scratch and create them in, into a module. Now you could have picked any voltage that you wanted to, but these are running in nominally, what, seven to 800 volts somewhere in there? What we want to run at is as high a voltage as possible because then the currents are lower. If the currents are lower, the cables are smaller, the fuses are smaller, etc. So the, the actual voltage is really set because of the power modules and we're at the higher end because we've got a very powerful motor and we want to get all the currents right down. Each individual one's got six phases and again, the, the more phases, the smoother it is. So you get smoother torque delivery and more efficiency. We've been developing our technology for over 10 years. We're currently supplying uh, one of the highest performance electric supercars in the world that's in production, that's using our technology. Uh, we're also in the rocket business, so, so we're supplying motors for rocket fuel pumps. Uh, we're supplying motors and inverters for uh, EV toll, which is a really hot topic at the moment. So electric vertical takeoff and landing uh, 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 vehicles. So we're in a number of different sectors. We're here in the test lab at EquipMate. Um, James, can you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, so we got our HTM 3500 motor. This has 400 kilowatts and 3,500 newton meters of torque. Before any motor or inverter leaves equipment, it comes in the test rigs. We have a sign off end of line test, we call it, where we go for thermal performance, peak performance, peak torque, and make sure all the software is correct. If there's any issues at that point, we catch it before it goes to the client. Emergency one in Scotland is a very creative, energetic, entrepreneurial type company. It's just that the products that they make are not North American. So we were able to connect with them to really make the best of both worlds. What impressed me with Red Fire was they seemed to share the same ethos as Emergency One for high quality, robust vehicles, innovative products, uh, and best in class customer service. It was really us going to the guys in Scotland who had done this already and just asking lots of questions and starting to learn from them. And we really relied on them pretty heavily towards the beginning of the project. But as time has gone on, we've really started to learn from each other. So things that we do here in North America that they weren't familiar with, we've been able to connect and, and put those puzzle pieces together. Working relationship that has built up over the last year between RevGroup and Emergency One has been incredible. It's been so encouraging to be able to take North American content and 
uh, UK innovation and be able to bring them together into the product that we're really excited about having back in the States and, and FDAC in April.